I'm Lisa Saunders. Welcome to my show. And as you can see, I am not in my studio out of Groton, <laughs> Connecticut. Where are we? Can you guess? There's a clue behind me. We're in Austin, Texas. And, and who are you? I'm Dr. Gail Dimler Harrison, and we are at the Congenital CMV Public Health and Policy Meeting. And we're here to learn about the most common virus most people have never heard of. And that virus is CMV, or cytomegalovirus. Most people don't know that it's a common congenital infection, and congenital means a baby is born with that virus. About 1% of all babies, one out of 100 babies, is actually born with this virus. Wow, that's really a high percentage. It is, and most people don't even know that their baby is infected with it. It is a very common birth defects virus. Babies acquire or get congenital CMV when their mother acquires or catches CMV, usually for the first time while they're pregnant. CMV is usually not a dangerous virus. Most people will be infected with it at some time in their life. So it's not weird, it's not unusual, it's not even scary to be infected with CMV unless, unless you're pregnant. And if you're pregnant, you should know about CMV. Now what should you know about CMV? You should actually take what I call the CMV knowledge vaccine. You should know that CMV exists, first of all. Most people, like I said, it's the most common virus most people have never heard of. So know that CMV exists. Look it up on the internet. Google it so you know that CMV exists. So an ounce of CMV awareness. And then the next component of the CMV knowledge vaccine is three simple hygiene precautions to reduce your risk of catching CMV while you're pregnant. What are those risks? I mean, what do we do? Well, so those simple precautions are, first, know that toddlers are literally hot zones for CMV. Um, and toddlers, as adorable and affectionate as they are, can transmit this virus to us. So avoid kissing toddlers on or around the mouth or the lips because CMV is in their saliva. Avoid uh, uh, the one for mommy, one for you, sharing food and drink with your toddler. Like sharing a cookie. So many times a toddler would take a bite of your cookie, you really should go get another cookie, right? Exactly. You're, you should have your glass when you're eating, and your toddler should have his or her glass. So. And I know a lot of times a toddler will come up to a mom, take a sip from her cup, and moms are exhausted and don't feel like getting another cup. That's a big thing. Exactly. So take that extra effort while you're pregnant to reduce that transmission. And also right before you're pregnant, too, exactly. right? Exactly. Yes, because if you acquire CMV at or around the time of your conception, the virus can get to your very vulnerable um, early pregnancy. And then the third component of the CMV knowledge vaccine, as I call it, um, is to wash your hands very carefully after wiping baby's drool and runny noses, because that's where CMV is, and also when after changing diapers, all diapers, not just poopy diapers, but also wet uh, diapers with just urine, because urine is where CMV actually is. So, an ounce of CMV awareness, three simple hygiene precautions, and you can protect your baby from congenital CMV. And um, about how many babies a year in the United States are born disabled by the virus? Well, we estimate about 30 to 40,000 babies each year, year after year, are born congenitally infected. And there's probably between three and 5,000 of those babies that are severely affected permanently from uh, congenital CMV. And what are some of the disabilities or symptoms of that? Well, babies who are severely affected from congenital CMV may have microcephaly, may have brain malformations or brain calcium. They may have vision loss. They may have hearing loss or deafness that may be in one ear or both ears. They may also have damage to their liver or to their spleen and to their bone marrow. So it's a very serious virus that can affect almost every organ. But there is also, so that's sort of the tip of the iceberg of right. congenital CMV, the severely affected babies. But then there's a silent majority of babies that are born congenitally infected with CMV that look normal like every other newborn in the nursery. But yet they're born shedding large quantities of the virus in their urine and their saliva. And so what happens to them? Well, studies have shown that they actually have a very significant one out of five risk 
of having a slow progressive deafness over the course of their life. So CMV can either affect your baby very early and have very obvious symptoms, or it can be stealth and kind of secret and silent and still cause your baby to go slowly deaf. And, and a lot of people don't know why their child is losing their hearing, right? Isn't that? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's estimated, there are many causes of hearing loss, but it's estimated that congenital CMV, especially silent congenital CMV, is a very common cause of slow progressive hearing loss in childhood. I heard that was the leading cause of non-hereditary hearing loss. Exactly, yes. Okay. You can have hereditary hearing loss. You can have hearing loss from malformations of your ear or your brain. And then there are the infectious causes of congenital hearing loss, and CMV is number one. Well, Dr. Gale, people can find out more by going to your website. Tell what your title is there. Well, you can. we are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We have a website. It is... Um, What's it called, the organization? It, it is it's the uh, Congenital CMV Registry Research and Clinic. So if you Google that, you can find us. We're on the web. We're here to help you. We're help to spread CMV awareness, to help you keep your pregnancy safe and your unborn baby safe from congenital CMV. And what hospital site is that on? It is at Baylor College of Medicine, and I also have a blog at Texas Children's Hospital as well. All right. Dr. Gale, thank you so much for sharing this information with yeah. us from... We're Houston, no, Austin, We Texas. are from Austin, Texas, <laughs> and we're with Willie Nelson, yes. and we're here to learn about the most common virus that you've never heard of, but now you have, CMV. Thank you. Bye.